Hiram Rhodes Rebels. This is my third time doing a presentation on Hiram Rebels or Uncle Hiram. Hiram Rhodes Rebels is not well known like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Shirley Chisholm, Thurgood Marshall, Rosa Parks, and our 44th President, Barack Hussein Obama. Hiram Revels is well known in my family. When we hear his name mentioned or his picture is in a presentation, we get excited. My granddaughter was overexcited after going to the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center in Cincinnati and they happened to have an exhibit just for him during her visit. Hiram Revels is the brother of Willis Revels, my great uncle times three. He was the great, great uncle of my mother's grandfather. My mother was born Lurleen Rebels, the daughter of Dob and Ida Mae Rebels, and sister of Dob, James, and General Rebels. Hiram Rose Rebels was the first United States African American Senator. In the Senate Chambers on February 25, 1870, Hiram Rhodes Rebels signed the oath to serve in the United States Senate as a Republican. Hiram Rebels was born a free man in 1827 and died a free man in 1901. He was the first black senator of the United States representing the state of Mississippi from 1870 to 1871. He was elected by a vote of 81 to 15. Following in the footsteps of his father, Hiram Revels was a minister. In 1845, Revels was ordained in the AME Church. In 1865, Revels left the AME Church and joined the Methodist Episcopal Church. Then in 1866, he was called as a permanent pastor at a church in Natchez, Mississippi. He was president of Alcorn University, also known as Alcorn Agricultural and Mechanical College. His tenure was from 1871 to 1873 and 1876 to 1882. He was a professor of philosophy and taught mostly African American students. Hiram was in the Union Army. He raised two black regiments during the Civil War and fought at the Battle of Vicksburg in Mississippi. Hiram served from 1863 to 1865 and was the chaplain in his unit. Now there is more information available for Hiram Rhodes Revels. Just putting his name in a Google search will bring up a lot of information. However, some information does not come readily. The links below will help. Uncle Hiram's life and legacy is now located in the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. To God be the glory. This video was created by Danielle Brown and Reverend Robin Boozer. We thank you so much for watching. So please, uh, in your leisure, uh, click on some of the links to go and find out more about Uncle Hiram.
We are his legacy. Thank you and God bless.